with that, we can do the mission Conquer Ireland. Release Ireland as a subject nation under personal union. Hello everyone, and welcome back. King Kong Beale here, back reigning in Europa Universalis 4. Uh, today, I'm back playing my England to Antrovan Empire game. So last episode, we fought the Hundred Year War. <laughs> and while that was happening, um, we had the War of the Roses, which uh, successfully won. And then I uh, successfully defeated France and was able to get a personal union over France. Uh, won and ended the Hundred Years War. Yeah, here we go. You can see that is me, or what is owned by me or my subjects. So let's get into it and see where we can go from here. So, one thing I realized after I did the last episode, I was being kind of stupid waiting for that debate to pop off that I needed to get the plus 5% crown lance when I could have just seized land and I probably could have seized land here again uh, now and had the 40 crown lands that I needed to remove the English billionage privilege. But I wasn't smart enough to think of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, yeah, these will drop below 30 and I'll get some rebels, but that's not the end of the world. I will survive that. So there we go. We got 35. And uh, actually they're just down here and uh, up here. So that's not too bad. Okay, so we got 35% crown land, so we need 5% more. Let's set Denmark and the Ottomans. I don't want to rival Castile because we are allied, and I want to try to keep that at least for now. And I don't want to rival Burgundy because I'm hoping to get the Burgundian secession. Uh, Burgundian inheritance. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to war with Scotland within 25 years. So let's go ahead and take that and now, my goal today is to get all of Ireland and all of Scotland, or at least most of Scotland. Yes, let's do that. Uh, for my separation of powers, yes, please. And, ooh, yes, here it is. The French and English, French English Reconciliation Act. Done. Let's go ahead into Parliament. 93%, that's fantastic. Yeah, we can lose a couple of sailors, no worries, and done. There we go. Let's see what January 1st, 1450 holds for us. Alright, France is no longer a great power, not surprising. Let's continue. Oh, wow. So the Burgundian secession happened in 1450. Holy crap. Um, and they... Went with me. Sweet. This is fantastic news. I've already got like most of France at this point. All right. Well, let's move on and uh, see what this results in. Mission fulfilled. Seize Burgundy. Good deal. All right. I was able to get an alliance with the Pope. So that should get me. Yep. That gets me up over the 100. Relations I need for my agenda. I'm gonna go ahead and buy indulgences to get more papal influence. All of my troops are here in Ireland, so let's see who we can go to war with. I think the first one's gonna be here with Kildare, calling in Tyrone. They're guaranteed by Scotland, but I don't think that should be issue. Yeah, actually what we could do is we could go belligerate and Get Ulster from Scotland. That should be a sure enough piece that we can get them again within within the 25 years. All right, and go. And there's the Renaissance. Where did it spawn? In uh, Guia. All right. We have to start uh, working towards that. 
And there it is. The Emperor, Emperor demands the Low Countries. Um, yeah. Um, all I'll bring into is ours. I'm not giving it back. Heck no. Alright, and I am at war with Austria. Did all my allies come in? They did, so that's good news. Alright, yeah, this should be a relatively easy fight. I mean, we've got 150,000 troops to their 30,000. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be needed. <laughs> I'll let my allies take care of this war. I'm actually going to start improving relations with France to get that up over zero. Alright, here's Diplotech 4. I'm the first one to get that. Oh, for innovativeness. Nice. Oh, I just realized I now have two subjects. That means I can get strong duchies. I guess Burgundy back being loyal and brings down Fran France's liberty desire a little bit. Alright, and that is a wrap on Tyrone. Full annexation. Now on to Unsiege Southern England. And I think I just stack wiped like, yeah, all but a thousand of their troops. Yeah, war's over. Alright, and in my other war against Austria, we're winning super easy. I wasn't even paying attention. I can get Baden out. Money and war reps. Sure, let's annul their alliance with Austria. And that's a wrap on Ferrara. Money and war reps. There's Miltech 4. Nice. Alright, and now I can get everything I want from Scotland, which is Ulster and the Isles. And no coalition. Prov Provence, Brittany, and Kildare, who isn't going to exist. Now, I'm not going to get money and war reps because I want to keep this war short. Because in April 1st, 1462, I want to try to get them as a subject. So hit the demand, and there we go. And that means that's a wrap on this first war. Alright, half of Ireland is mine. Alright, the next war is going to be against Linster. I'm going to go obliterate Thomond and Ofle and Desmond and get all of them. Do it. Alright, and I've gotten France uh, loyal. Great. They like me and they are loyal. Oh, there's the Neapolitan Secession where they uh, released Naples. Which I still never really understand. I mean, I think that's a mistake every time. I think they should always keep it. I don't understand why people or the AI don't keep or take PUs when they can. You know, Naples, the uh, Iberian Wedding, Hungary, Lithuania, etc. My opinion, it's pretty much always a good idea to go ahead and take it. If I'm mistaken, put it in the comments and let me know why I'm mistaken. But I can't ever think of a reason why you wouldn't want to take that PU. And that's a wrap on Desmond. That's a wrap on Brigands for money and war reps. And Austria will soon follow. Yep, and that will do it for Austria. Money, war reps, don't need anything else, don't want to really hurt them, I don't care to, to damage Austria all that much. So, let's just uh, do it. There we go. <clears throat> I won the Austrian Burgundian Liberation War, and I get to keep Bur Burgundy and all of their lowlands. And there's Admin Tech 4. Alright, so I can start using my mana points to increase London up to 30 and work on spawning in the Renaissance. Alright, and that's a wrap on Ufle. Full annexation there. And there's a full annexation on Thomond. And on Linster. Alright, Munster has no allies. So let's go to war with them. Tyrkanel has no allies either, so let's go get them. 
Alright, and let's go to war with the last two. Might as well finish them all up at the same time. Alright, and that is a full annexation on Munster. And only three more to go. Alright, and in London, I'm going to expand infrastructure. And I'm going to activate the Encourage Development Edict. Make it a bit cheaper. Do a deal cheaper. And let's get it up to 30. Right at 30. Uh, still have a ways to go with the Renaissance, but it is getting there at 0.41 per month. Alright, Tier 2 Government government reform. I'm going to go with the strengthened House of Lords, um, in part because it's unique and also because I, I really like the uh, parliament effect duration and the reform progress growth. So I'm going to go with that one. Alright, in addition, I'm working on improving relations with some of the HRE electors. I was hoping to try to get the emperorship before when he died but uh, yeah that didn't happen so let's try to do it when uh, this next emperor dies they enacted an imperial reform all right and that is a victory as I get a uh, diplomat back against their canal and actually the rest of them have finished up now too good deal there's a peace offer and one more to go. And there it is. Ireland is mine. With that, we can do the mission Conquer Ireland. Which gives a really cool parliament debate. Oh, I gotta do the mission. The Crown of Ireland. Let's do that. Now we can do this. Of inflation. Uh, sure, more clergy influence. Alright, and I'm going to go with the Crown of Ireland. Release Ireland as a subject nation under personal union. There we go. Nice. Ireland is mine. And two few rivals. Yeah, we can rival Austria, sure. And with that, let's see if I can get some uh, HRE electors allied and voting for me. Brandenburg. There's Bohemia, there's Trier, there's Cologne. So I'm allied with Bohemia, Brandenburg, Cologne, Trier, and hopefully working towards getting them close to voting for me. So that hopefully when uh, Ladislav dies, I will be elected Holy Roman Emperor. Alright, so I'm going to summon the Diet because I can now seize land again. Now let's go with that one. These land. Now, goodbye, English Villainage. And I can do the rest of the estates. Uh, religious state. I actually should have done this a while ago, the Clerical Advisory Council. Uh, let's do the Primacy of the Nobles, Aristocratic Counselors, Land of Commerce, and Commercial Advisory Board. Here we go. All right, so in order to sit, try to try to save some money, let's get rid of these mercenary units. There's another alliance with another elector, just to try to get a few more voting for me. I've got one, almost got another one, getting close there. All right, I have completed the mission, uh, the Royal Court. I have no current disasters, legitimacy 95%, mana points of my king add up to at least 5, I've got uh, three, uh, 3 advisors, so I get 5 crown lands, nice. That gets me up to 17, and one more seized land, in uh, just a couple of years, I'll get up over 20 and won't be losing autonomy. Well, I have uh, 3 people voting for me, and Jair was voting for me until this month, but 
uh, those two are now negative 1 or negative 5 and negative 4 respectively. So it's close, but I'm working on getting that up to where I will become the HRE Emperor. Alright, and there we go. We have uh, four people voting for me. They're all close, so things might still change. But uh, now I just need Ladislav to uh, go from posthumous to posthumous, <laughs> if you get my drift. Alright, marriage pays off. The Brandenburg heir is of my family, of my line. Good deal. Renaissance has appeared in London. Alright, the Duchess of Burgundy dies. I am inheriting Burgundy already in 1460. Okay! Good deal. I didn't even notice that the uh, Shadow Kingdom uh, fired off. And it looks like Farah was the only one that stayed in the Empire. Okay. Alright, for my first age reward or whatever it's called, I can't remember. I'm going to choose Justified Wars uh, for the aggressive expansion impact. Alright, I'm getting support up for my troops and for my fleet in preparation for going to war with Scotland in uh, about a month. Alright, here we go. Who are they at war with? They are at war with Denmark. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Denmark declared war, maybe? Let's see what happened. Let's see. Yeah, Denmark declared war on Scotland. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and subjugate Scotland <laughs> and let's go to war with Denmark. And uh, we can try to take all the islands and maybe, I don't know, see what else we can do. At least take the, the islands, that's for sure. So, let's go to war, subjugate, and go. Alright, there we have it. They're fully occupied, they only have one. That should be enough. Oh yeah. And almost no coalition. And now we're actually going to be in a defensive war against Denmark. Let's continue the war. We are in control of the war against Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and East Frisia. Yeah, let's just go ahead and call in I don't know about everyone, but at least the uh, the bigger nations. Oh yeah, and uh, we finished the Subjugate Scotland mission, so let's go ahead and click that. We're not going to buy it because we're going to take it in the war. And we also have the Unify the Isles. Give some prestige, uh, prestige decay, uh, minus, and monthly splendor. Right, and that is East Frisia out for war reps and money. Once I get a diplomat back, that is. And there we go. Oh, I didn't realize that I wasn't at war with Sweden because Sweden is fighting their war of independence as well. That's nice. That was uh, an unexpected turn. Right, well, that was a uh, lot longer of a war than I anticipated it being, uh, especially with the way we outnumbered them all, but we got there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the islands up here, uh, including giving Orkney to Scotland and taking the rest for myself. I'm going to take war reps, all their money, 350 ducats. And I'm also going to make them release Holstein back into the Empire. And no coalition, the only one that's unhappy about it is Scotland. And I don't know why they are unhappy about it. So let me recall a diplomat. 
And uh, in a couple of days, I'll go ahead and get this peace deal. There we go. Alright, so reduce war exhaustion, core all. Let's summon the diet. Might as well do this one again. 30, get that. There we go. These some land. Up over 30%. And then what I'm actually going to do, because I can now embrace the renaissance, I just need a bit more money. And I don't want to wait however many months that would be. So I'm going to go ahead and take out one loan and embrace the renaissance right there and then I'm going to heck up across the board oh I can tech up in military yet again so went from four directly up to six good deal and for my first idea group, I'm going to go with Diplomatic. So I'm going to be playing with a lot of uh, subjects. I already have three currently. Um, Ireland, Scotland, and France. And well, for a while I had another one in Burgundy, but not anymore. But I'm still going to go with Diplomatic first. Oh yeah, I can sell the... Uh, the Renaissance now. A couple people want it, but let's see who will give me the most money for it. Alright, let's sell it to Aragon. They'll give me the most money. 1.86 ducats a month. Not much, but better than nothing. Alright, Colin's calling me into a war. Sure. Not gonna do anything. So I think while this war is happening, I'm actually going to go to war with Brittany and uh, take that. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm not going to co belligerate them because it'll call in the Emperor and that just sounds like a whole lot of trouble. I'll call in Brandenburg and Anzen Trier to help deal with Ultrek, their ally. and. Let's do it. Right, that finishes up Ultra. So let's just take money and war reps. Uh, give me your trade power as well. And that's done. And in two days, here we go. Let's full annex Brittany. Uh, basically, no coalition. Alright. And that war is done. Now uh, let's pour all that up. Alright, time for tier 3 reform. And for this, I think I'm going to go with the, representative of the representatives of the crown. The national tax modifier is nice. The force limit contribution and especially the diplomatic relations is really nice so I think I'm gonna go with that one especially since I'm gonna be playing with a bunch of vassals and personal unions at least for the time being all right that war is over let's get a royal marriage with Scotland and yeah I think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now I'm like borderline maybe getting HRE votes, but that'll come. But yeah, I have done a lot today. Uh, I got all of the British Isles, all of the North Atlantic Isles, and almost all of France already. I basically just need to go to war with Provence, uh, get Anjou, the Provence uh, provincial Provencian provincial territories down here. I uh, get Avignon from the Papal States and then get these up here from Provence and Lorraine. So what I think I'm going to do 
I'm gonna wait a couple of years until my aggressive expansion dies down. Not that it's bad yet, or right now. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's not too bad. But these are very expensive provinces, so I think I'm gonna wait a couple of years. And then I'm gonna go to war with Provence. I'm gonna take these four for myself. Uh, Verdun, Eros, Lorraine, and Metz for myself. And then I'm going to vassalize the rest of Provence in these four. And then I will ask Hope to give Avignon back to Provence. And then I'll just need these two from Savoy for myself in order to get all of the French region provinces and be able to form the Angevin Empire, or Angevin Kingdom. Uh, but I am going to wait until France annexes all of their vassals and appanages. Um, let's see, are they working on any currently? Uh, they are not, unfortunately. Hopefully they'll start working on those, those soon. I am going to wait and do that until all those are part of France, uh, so that I won't have to worry about them. But I hope you enjoyed what I did today. I, I know I did. A lot of crazy things happened that I was not anticipating. Uh, mainly the Burgundian secession happening so soon. And me getting it. And then me inheriting Bur Burgundy. I hope you uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. However much of it is left. And I will see you all next time. Thanks for stopping by. Take care everyone. Bye.